I want you live outside. Mm. Uh, I said I mean outside Africa, other countries, diaspora. They tell you only bad things in our continent, in our country. For example, I'm from Mogadishu. If I open the video, if I open the red uh, TV, TV, yeah, like Sky or BBC, they only tell you bad things. Corruption there, uh, Al Shabaab there. <laughs> the road is not good. It's not safe. Don't go there. Something else, on the plane we were watching the documentaries and it was documentaries by white people and it's like we are telling our own story as black people. White people will not come to our continent to tell our story and it's about time we scrap that off and put ourselves telling our stories like we need what the Maya content on the planes. Why are we seeing white people who we don't even know? They are coming to visit Africa and telling our story. We are Africans. We deserve to tell our stories our own way. So airlines in Africa, South African airlines, Kenyan airways, you know, Ethiopian airlines and all other airlines, like it's about time. That's right, that's right. Well, Message to Africans. Patronize African airlines. Wow, finally, we're done with all the airport checks. This is our first time traveling as a married couple, I guess. Ah, so exciting. <laughs> oh, wow. So, I, and believe me, I can't even believe that first time traveling like a married man and I have only one bag. I know, right? If we, are, we are so free. We checked in one bag and now we're just moving around like this, you know? It shows that the two shall become one. You know? We have one literally like it's not even a joke <laughs> yep and i can't wait to travel more simpler like more than this one. Oh my goodness where are we going to don't worry i'm here to simplify your life a bit oh wow yeah. simplify my okay, life imagine i was touching my husband and then another another what is his what officer immigration officer, immigration officer was like madam madam okay 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 what was she saying in it's Ghana? okay like, like, stop, stop, <laughs> madam, stop. I'm like, is it not fine? Right? <laughs> if you go to court, no. I'll win that case because... I I'll tell you something. Trudy is more touchy on, like, everywhere. Right? Wherever we go, she want to hold you. Oh, my God. She want to kiss you and all of that. Yeah, I'm so... Like, I didn't even know I'm like that. I'm so touchy. Like, I want to kiss, 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 kiss my husband every second. I want to touch him, touch him, touch him, touch him. So the officer was like, madam, stop. Madam, it's okay. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> in Kenya, no officer would tell you that because I think in Kenya we're used to that. Is it just a Ghanaian thing? Uh, I think Maya so. never liked it. I thought Maya has a problem. But then now I'm not, I understand, babe. I think it's a Ghana thing. Eh? All right, thank you. But no one will stop me from exercising my rights. We are on our way to Rwanda. <laughs> Traveling with my hubby for the first time. I'm super we are, excited. We are on our way to Rwanda. And why are we going to Rwanda, babe? This is actually my third time of going to Rwanda. In in like a month? Or <laughs> in a month, month yeah. That's and I'm even tired of going to Rwanda. I think <laughs> Rwanda or Kenya? Which country have I been more often? Uh, should be Kenya. So these two countries are my most visited countries in Africa. Yeah. What about Ethiopia? No, no, no. Oh, it's, it's always because you, you always have to pass there <laughs> when you're flying to another yeah, country. Yeah, and uh, you know why we're going to Rwanda, right? Because my husband is being awarded. I'm so proud of him. You know, oh, I have to goodness. support my husband. I'm just, he's, I'm, I'm, he's, listen, um, I'm just tired of know, hearing guys, the word you know my the, husband. You know the I'm just Uber tired. <laughs> That's a big deal. And I'm so proud of you because he's making a big impact in Africa, changing lives, making a difference. So he deserves it. And I had to fly with him to support him. We won't be there for long, just like four days. No, and we are back. The number of times that you've mentioned my husband, if I'm supposed to make money, I would have made a million dollars by now. Right? <laughs> oh, I'm good, man. How are you doing? I'm good. 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 I'm
agenda. Yeah, the agenda yeah, must yeah, set. Yeah, with uh, message hot, hot, hot FM. Oh, okay. Yeah, I help them with the sports at times. Message for Africans. Oh, we should be real. We should have the tendency uh, to be patriotic. Wow, everything is here. Those abroad bring the money down here to invest. That's all I can say. Thank you so much. I like. I really like the job you guys are doing. Thank you. Because I read, I read your biography and you said you were in China sometimes. Yeah. Ago. To take the initiative and boldness to come down. It's, in the beginning it's not easy, but yep. you see, come to London. I'll come. I'll tell you, I'll make sure I'll give you a platform. I'll be there on 20, okay. 28. Guys, so we are um, going to board the plane, but on our way we stopped by this beautiful African store where they sell African items from dresses to jewelry. Um, yes, so in case you're traveling, make sure you pass by this place. It's opposite Gate 4C. Um, it's gate C4, it's opposite. Gate C4. <laughs> and uh, you can get, you know, a wide variety of African items, bags, jewelry, clothes, you know. something that I can afford yeah, are you sure yeah. what, what is the cheapest thing to buy in here 25 cities 25 cities that's the big one okay baby mm -hmm. take one and another one oh really yeah mm -hmm. okay 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 let me see let me see what to be what to be what to be Gonna put it on now. Hold this. So I have earrings. I have to remove the ones I have. But I love these ones because they look so good. Yeah. Uh, African. Look at this. Yeah. All right. Okay. Should I put it on? Put it on. Should I? No. Looks good. Passengers are requested to avail only your boarding passes while you board. Also, ensure to put on your nose mask before you board the flight. Does on behalf of Air Code Accra, we okay. wish you a safe and a pleasant flight. We thank you for choosing Air Code Ooh. Okay. <laughs> African hair, African jewelry. I mean, I'm so African, I'm proud. Oh my 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 That's all she does. Rwanda, here we come. <laughs> I'm oh, bringing oh. the original boy back again for the, like the, how many times? The fifth time <laughs> in a month. <laughs> I don't want to go back. <laughs> what if you don't want to go back? You no. love Rwanda. Why should I be going to one particular country five times in a month? Because you love it. Ah. And not, you're working. Well, not, you're not working. Not again. I used to love Rwanda, but not again. Ah, are they? They don't want to spend money, man. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the Rwanda Tourism Board don't want to spend money. You know, I had a meeting with them, yeah? Uh, did you see Claire in the end? No. Okay. But apparently, they told me that they don't pay for people like us, though. But they pay us now. <laughs> they pay Asna, they pay PSG, but they don't pay African content creators. Anyway, we'll talk about that later, yeah. No, I'm not the one. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one. Wow. You know, so I, I just met a subscriber. He's the one that was shouting. No, it's the one. I'm the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been watching my videos or something? Yeah, I've been watching your video. There was a time I was going to Kigali and I had no idea of what Kigali looks like or what to expect. Wow. So when I saw this video, I now had an idea of what I should expect in Kigali. And it was amazing. It was really amazing. Like, oh. yeah, I really like it. That's really imp impressive. Did you, did you still go to Kigali that time? Uh, that time I managed to go, but ah. I'd never been to Kigali by then. So it was through your video that I was helped to have an idea of what Kigali looks like. You see? Anyway, so you're doing, I, I, you're doing a really <laughs> good job. I won't go too much into details about that. Finally, we are bored. I guess like half of the people in the plane are my YouTube subscribers. Mm. 
crazy man like, everyone is like, yo ev everyone who said hello to me i appreciate each and every one of you i just want to just from watching your video i just watched your wedding oh the man is fun what am i yeah. someone even say i'm traveling because of you wow. for the first time <laughs> yeah let me know has my video inspired you to travel to any african country leave that in the comment section Wow. Anyway, for me, I just want to sleep and I'll see you all when I get to either Ethiopia or Kigali. saying that we should start developing the coastline. Ghana is so blessed with coastline but we're not taking advantage of it. Look at that. Oh my god. Is it imagine if the whole coastline is filled with skyscrapers. Man, the country is so blessed, you know. Taking off, you see nothing, you know. But yet we're, we're blessed with the coastline. Into the U.S. was coming, I was looking at victim of flight, and I watched your video. He you wanted us to patronize with African stuff, and then you know, decided to go for it. That's right. That's right. That's right. The power of YouTube you, videos. You've been a great influence. So uh, thank you. Keep it up, man. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Too. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. Let me just. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, admire myself. Wow. Message to Africans. That's right, that's right. Well, Message to Africans. Patronize African airlines. Yeah. Thank you. People are actually listening to my message, man. That's right. Thank wow. You. That's really I was impressive. I'm a skeptical because usually I use maybe the ones that go through Europe or even straight away from the US to like to Ghana. But. Wow. But this time I decided to use an African airways. That's right. That's right. Jeez, that's you, so you, powerful. You, you had a great influence on my decision. Okay. <laughs> All right. So God bless you. No, God bless, bless you too. And congratulations thank you. on your. Thank you. Watch your video. Thank so you. Thank you. Congratulations on your union. Thank you. And thanks for supporting African Airlines, man. You're welcome. Appreciate right. you, man. God bless. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like it's time for me to address this issue. I feel like it's time for African airlines to reciprocate the love that African content creators have been showing them. I think every African content creator traveling within Africa use African airlines, right? Yeah. We are even telling people to support African airlines. And believe me, if my video has been able to change one person's mindset to start using African airways, I think it's time for African airlines to support African content That's creators. That's so true. Like we've been meeting so many people who are saying, you know, they are flying uh, to Africa because of Maya, they are flying with European Airlines because of Maya. But the question is, how is the airline appreciating? And, and the, the fact that we have to pay for our own flight ticket everywhere we go to. I remember like uh, I was working with Ethiopian Airlines and they just want to sponsor you, not your crew. And I feel like, listen, it, it, without the crew, what am I? It's nothing. It's like, oh. We want to support what am I, not the crew of what am I. And I believe that the time is now. You know, this is the biggest airline in Africa, and I, I believe that yes. support, not just me. And, and, and if it doesn't support its own people, then who will it support? Mm -hmm. It can't support, you know, Europeans, Americans. It has to support Africans, and who better support to support than Africans who are actually, you know, spreading the message of Africa, bringing people back to Africa. 
and encouraging Africans on the continent to travel within their continent with the airline, you know, so it's like... I, I, imagine, imagine if the African airlines come up with uh, an, an initiative that will actually give um, content creators that are traveling within Africa to promote Africa 50%. You know, oh, oh, just go, that's even big. It's going to make such a it's big impact. A big impact for them. And they're going to get more exposure and promotion. But the question is, do they see this? And why not? If not? It's time for us to tell our own stories, and this is what we're doing right now. So, yeah, I mean, help us tell more stories about Africa because changing the narrative about Africa, we cannot do all that all by ourselves. Something else, on the plane you are watching the documentaries, and it was documentaries by white people, and it's like, we are telling our own story as black people. White people will not come to our continent to tell our story. And it's about time we scrap that off and put ourselves telling our stories, like we need what Maya content on the planes. Why are we seeing white people who we don't even know? They are coming to visit Africa and telling our story. We are Africans. We deserve to tell our stories our own way. So airlines in Africa, South African Airlines, Kenyan Airways, you know, Ethiopian Airlines and all other airlines, like it's about time. Let's, let's just stop this, you know. You know let's it, embrace our own, you know. If we are supporting you, it's about time. You need time. to support us. Well. You need to support us. Yeah. I'm speaking on behalf of all African, African content, content creators. creators. Thank you. I'm what am I? We appreciate. <laughs> we appreciate what you're doing. Ah, really thank nice. you, man. Very nice. Thank you. Hi. I will invite you to Nigeria and Anambra State again. Anambra State again. Can you see innocent before? Exactly. And I'm unveiling the first olive oil plant in West Africa in Anambra State. Wow. First olive oil plant yes, in West Africa. Yep. That's amazing. I'll give you my number. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm planning to go to Nigeria again. And I'm definitely going to tell your story. And, brother, you, and eh? brother, there's also a movement called Save Soil. Save Soil. Save Soil. It's a global movement. Okay. Now Africa is, needs to get into it also. Ethiopia has a team. Mm. I would like you to also promote it. Because soil is dying and people don't understand that soil is alive. Soil is a living thing. We must keep it alive. It's about how we get our food, our clothes, our medicine, everything. Wow. So I think it's this like, is something It's that like we came from the soil and we need to go back to the soil. You understand. I don't need to tell you anything. <laughs> But how do I how do I let I, you know more about this? I, I'll give you my contact and we're gonna take it from there. Yeah, let's do it. I love your video. You are the best man. Oh wow! <laughs> Thank you. Well, Thank you. Can I take it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nice one. Thank you. It's a pleasure, let me, man. Let me do mine also. All right. Superstar. Background. Let's do the background here. Let's do the background here. Superstar. Yeah. Nice All right, one. brother. How do I get your contact, yeah. brother? When you're traveling with your husband who's a superstar, this is what happens. Keep being stopped every freaking second. Someone from Nigeria, someone from Ethiopia, someone from Kenya, someone from, you know, Zimbabwe. So, hey, hey, what's Amaya? But he's doing amazing and I'm so proud of him, you know. Being with someone who's making such a huge impact in the continent, I'm just so proud of him, man. Like, I'm just so, so, so proud of my husband. <laughs> I lack words. What are you saying? Nothing. Babe, I feel so sad. Why? I cannot travel with you to Kigali. Uh, I'm so sorry, it's my fault. I made a mistake. Guys, so Maya made a mistake and um, because of that we can't travel together. This is how we part I, ways. I was so excited to book the ticket with my wife just to travel with her for the first time. And out of excitement, I think I made a mistake. My onward flight to Kigali is going tomorrow, and the onward flight to Kigali is going tonight. I'm so sad. I, I thought it would be so romantic if we land together, you know, go to the hotel together, you know, and everything. Did, but let me tell you something. You remember, hold it. You remember, like, uh, there was a time we all flew from Ghana to Ethiopia. And I was heading to China and you're heading yeah. to Kenya. And you actually cried. I cried, man. Oh, oh my God. I was not used to being away from you those days. So. And you, do you know that the same exit is the same one you're going to use to oh, really? Kigali today? Oh, wow. So maybe. So are you going to cry for me tonight? Ah, you're the one who's going to cry again, right? <laughs> they always cry, but you know, these days I'm, I'm smart. I don't cry on camera. Really? Yeah. I cry anyway. on camera. Let me take you to your terminal and um, no, let, no, let, I'll see sorry, you let, let me take you to your boarding gates and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Guys, oh. 
is our bag came off. I wanted to show you this our bag came off. And this, I, I got we, this bag the last time I went to Rwanda. Yeah, this bag was gotten in Rwanda, but it's not meant to carry anything. And it's anything. going to Rwanda again? Yeah, but it's... Am I going to go with this or are you going to go with it? No, you have to go with it. Baby! Because I'm coming tomorrow. I'm now going to check in my hotel and I met this young man. Mm -hmm. You want to be a YouTuber? Yes. What kind of videos do you want to make? Um, Roblox videos. What? Roblox videos. Oh, wow! Where are you from? Ghana. You're from Ghana? Yes. It's the same. <laughs> Where are you going right now? Um, we're actually going to Malawi, but we have to book a hotel before we can travel to Wow, is it your first time traveling? Mm, no, my second time. Your second time? Yes. How was the flight experience? Um, I think you can decide. Man, I want to be your friend, you know. Can we be friends? Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry man, I just complained about it's open airlines and um, on my way to go and check in my hotel I met someone who said oh what am I and he's an it's open airline staff he's more like a manager in here and then they saw the voucher that I have which is a uh, more like a two three star hotel and they're like you know what it's what am I we're changing it to a five star hotel so as you can see they just I just bought my ticket and everything. I don't want to show their faces and stuff, but you can see behind me, they're currently changing my hotel. And um, they're changing it to a five-star hotel, man. Yep, it's open airlines have always been supporting me, man. But I wish they can extend the support to every African content creator. I love flying ET, and you all need to start flying ET today. Thank you. This is crazy, man. I mean, this is actually my first time of having an escort throughout the whole airport. I mean, Ethiopia is always making me feel like a big guy, man, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just a YouTuber, yeah, but uh, I mean, it feels so good knowing that uh, you've been given an escort. You just walk in till you get in here. That's amazing. They actually changed my hotel. So they gave me Skylight, which is a five-star hotel, so that's where I'll be sleeping today. I mean, I just want to say thank you for supporting the movement. Thank you so much for having seen the value of um, a content creator. Because I was just coming and all of them was like, oh, is that what am I? Is that what am I? I mean, it was good knowing that you're not from Ethiopia, but people from Ethiopia actually appreciate you and loves what you do that's incredible man hey. thank you so much thank you thank you he's, so much. he's the guy who walked okay. me through all the whole airport you want to like take a picture no, both you want to oh like this is okay yeah all right okay. so i want to say come bring it up a bit all right good thank, thank you, so you so much, much. i really like uh the way you treat us okay? all right <laughs> i appreciate yeah. you man yeah. yeah so yeah uh, i'll see you guys when i get to my hotel and uh We'll continue the trip tomorrow. Yeah, Maya. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to be part of the channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Wada Maya, the one and only annoying village born a journey to change the negative narrative of Africa. I yes. should use this one? Yes. Wow. Only me? Yeah. How? Can I sit beside you? Yes. Let me sit beside you, okay? I don't wanna. Oh my goodness, these people, like they gave me my own car to take me to the hotel. Man. This is crazy. Anyway, thank you. Yes. Nice to meet you, yeah? Nice to meet you. Too. Wow, thank you. Yes. Ready to go now? I'm ready to go now. Right. Let's go. It's you happening, like this man. music? Oh, I like it. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um, this is crazy, man. So even going to skylight for the first time i'm not joining the bus man they just gave me my own car to take me to skylight man. that's incredible this is really a vip treatment today man i'm just following the driver he's taking me to the hotel room just like that it is what it is man it seems like most of my audience are from this country. The number of people that watch you from here. Ah? Uh? They will oh. give you a room. Okay, okay. Enjoy all right. your time. I'm Thank you. About you sir. Thank you. Right. I appreciate night. you, man. Right. Good night. <laughs> like everyone, 
so nice to me in Ethiopia. And I think I need to move to Ethiopia, man. What do you guys think? I, 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 Ethiopia is there. I need to learn Amharic because I'm coming to stay here with you guys very soon. Because the love that you guys are showing me here, I think I'm getting more love from here more than even my own country. So good yeah. to see you. Good to see you. I'm on the camera. Man. Yeah, I know you're on the camera. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Skylight. Thank, thank you. Thank nice you. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Okay. Yeah. Any help else? Ah, uh, no. I'm just waiting for the hotel just room. Give yeah. me a couple of the second. We do all the best for you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Wait. There's dinner tonight. Oh. You know why? Uh, why? It's you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh. <coughs> If it's not me, there's no dinner for you all tonight. Yeah. Good morning. I really slept like a baby and woke up like a giant. I mean, a giant baby. I'm still Mr. Ghana, baby. You know how we're doing. Oh my goodness. A big shout out to Utopians. If you're Utopian watching me right now, leave a comment. Let me know in the comment section. DJ, give me some Utopian music. <laughs> That's how we dance in Utopia. And you don't have enough strength, please don't try it. But yo, I slept in here. This is the room that they gave me last night. Very spacious, very beautiful. Uh, this is how my washroom looks like. And this is how cute I look in the mirror. Mm. Uh, yep, so it is what it is. I'm about to just to continue my flight to Kigali. But just let me show you a bit of Utopia from above. So this is where I am, this is how, this is the view that I have at this very moment. People just walking down first, I mean going to, and this is the political capital of Africa and I encourage you all, if you have the chance, book that ticket and come visit Ethiopia. Come along with me as we fly to Kigali, one of my favorite countries in Africa. So yeah, um, I just checked out on my way to the airport and uh, I got a new friend right now and uh, so where are you from by the way? Cape Town, South Africa. Cape Town, South Africa. And what do you do? We basically just uh, uh, go around different places of the world mm. and guiding the people in the way of of um, how we should lead our life in this world mm. and um, guiding them the ways of the next world, which is forever and forever. The next world is a never-ending world. This world, this world, yeah. We also need to have guidance, which we give them the guidance, mm. and we uh, guide them on the ways and the patterns of the prophets. Wow. Tell me something that the world doesn't know about Islam. Uh, what the world doesn't know about Islam, one of the things that the world does not know about Islam is that, you know, this this thing about Nabi Isa, which uh, is known as Jesus to most of the world. The confusion that there is is that we don't consider, you know, we, we say we don't consider Nabi Isa as being God uh, coming down in the flesh. We believe he's a great prophet and we love him so much. And we're also waiting for him. We're waiting for his return. And when he's going to return, he will return as not as the person that you are seeing with the red hair and the blue eyes hanging in everybody's rooms but as the way he left he will have the cloak on like we are dressing now and the way he used to dress was the way of the prophets this is what it's going to look like and he will be 
you will be a follower of the last prophet which is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam may peace be upon him he will be a follower and unfortunately because of this conception of uh, uh, those that is not following in the ways that we are following they will not accept him there will be people that will not accept him because of this kind of confusion so uh, that is something that maybe that I'm sharing you know with the people so that they can know this is what we're doing we're going all around the world and we're trying to you know put things straight wow. as best we can your next country the country you're going right now now we're going to Zanzibar Zanzibar and I want to wish you all the best in your journey across the world <laughs> Bye -bye. airports is the headquarters of what Maya subscribers you meet them everywhere my brother where are you from I'm from London you're, you're from London yeah but originally from Somalia Wow, and yeah. where are you going right now? I'm going to Mogadishu now. Why are you going back to Mogadishu? Because of what am I? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? I, I, I feel so happy when the diaspora tells me that we used to be in London, you, uh, wherever, and now we are going back because of you. You know, yeah. it makes me feel like you guys are really listening to me. Yeah, that's what we did. We have to. You have to, yeah, man. To Africa, so we have to. When was the last time you went to Mogadishu? Uh, I left like eight years ago, but I went to like, I think it was 2020. Okay. Yeah. So, you, so now I'm going second time now. Second time uh, now. Are you going alone or are you going with a family? Yeah, my family lived in Mogadishu the last three years. Wow. We used to stay in London, but now they moved to the Mogadishu because I showed them your video. I said, we have to accept what am I? Somali is just like any other country in Africa that I've ever visited. I mean, coming in here, I see similarities between Mogadishu and Dakar of Senegal. I mean, maybe some part of Ghana looks like this. So my brothers and sisters, give Somali a chance. Go live your life, come and explore. And you know what? What I'm gonna tell you, be positive. Okay, I, it's not okay. Africa is racing. We have to go and grow. <laughs> yeah, and that's the video that I did. Mogadishu is rising. Oh my it's goodness. Rising, yeah. yeah, that's incredible. Listen, um, anybody that I meet, I always want to ask one question. What is your message for Africans? Yeah, be together and be whatever you can in your countries, in your continent. Hi, when you live outside, mm. uh, I said I mean outside Africa, other countries, diaspora, they tell you only bad things in our continent, in our countries. For example, I'm from Mogadishu. If I open the video, if I open the red uh, TV, TV, yeah, like Sky or BBC, they only tell you bad things. Corruption there, uh, Al Shabaab there, <laughs> the road is not good, it's not safe, don't go there. Even I remember. When I sent the ferry to my children, mm. I said, we're going back. He said, how come? There's no luck there. I said, how? They said, even Mugdusha don't have a sky. I said, I'll tell you, that's a, <laughs> this is a part of the, of the world. Oh, yeah, exactly. We have a land, we have a uh, if it, mountain, we have everything, we have animals. They said, oh, it's true. They said, I think Mugdusha is only for rubbish there and only gunmen there, there's nothing more. I remember first my son, mm -hmm. my oldest son. Mm -hmm. When they landed in Mogadishu, it was like behind me, hiding. I said, what, what's going on? I said, oh, I, I said, I'm scared for kidnap. Kidnap? Yeah. Who's that person? I said, who tell you that? He said, my teachers they just tell you. They said, if you land one time, one time in Mogadishu, mm. it is hide. Wow. They will kidnap you straight away. I said, no, that's a lie. I said, go and walk in front of me. I will, I will stay back. Wow. So now they live in Mogadishu now? They live in Mogadishu now for the last few years now and they enjoy it. They enjoy it. They don't want to come back. <laughs> <laughs> they said the real life is here. The real life is yeah, here. No stress. No oh. Food. Yeah, even nice. this, less stress. This is the kind of stories that we want to yeah. hear. So that it's to encourage. Sad, yeah, your... we need to encourage the diasporans yeah. not to be scared of their own countries yeah. because I believe that the media has done a great job. I mean, distorting the image of Africa. So a lot of us are even scared of coming back to our countries. Sure. We are changing that narrative. And I just want to tell you guys, if you've been out there for quite a long time, it's time for you to come back home. Even if you're not moving back, just come and experience Africa in your own way. Yeah, that's right.
Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love this man. Yeah. 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 And if you had a chance to change one thing in Africa, what would it be? Uh, corruption. <laughs> Yo, finally touched down in Kigali. Today is the day that the Guba Awards is actually happening. And um, you see, my wife actually came here before me and she's acting as if um, she came here to the airport to pick me up by himself. Come on, I, I, know, I know he can never leave you at the house. Come on. <laughs> How are you, babe? I'm good. Oh, you came to pick me up? Oh. Wow. And you're like, oh, I didn't, I knew you were in the I car. I did surprise you. No, you can never surprise me. I know you will never stay in the house knowing that I'm coming today. That's <laughs> never gonna happen. You just say like, good luck both of you. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I, I knew she's in the car, you know, like, how's Kigali? So far, so good. So far, so good. Yes, I feel like clean Kigali. as usual. You know, you passed where you filmed. Really? You are, you are a viral video for Kigali. You know, he showed me. Kigali, like, oh. Kigali is like home for me. You know, I can you see how so many people are surrounding me. If you there. say Kigali, oh. ah, you see, Odemaya. Ah, hi. How are you? I'm good. How about you? I'm good. Good to see you. Back to Kigali. Exactly. How are you? Yeah, good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> hi. Hi. Hey, Trudy. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Hi. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. Are you enjoying Chigari? Yes, I love it. I just came yesterday. Oh, Ooh. I see. All right. Thank you. See what I said? <laughs> this country is actually my country. So, yeah. Baby, remember when you started dating? Mm -hmm. You were like, oh, you're Ghanaian, I'm Kenyan. So, when you get married, what should we do? We'll move to and then Kito. you said we'd move to Rwanda. Exactly. What happened? You are moving I changed Rwanda. my mind. Why? You didn't change your mind. Why? I changed my mind, man. You still have a second chance. No, to no, 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 no. He says you still have a second uh, uh, chance. Until <laughs> the people of Rwanda mm -hmm. appreciate the work that I do and invite me officially and say that this is the amount of money that we're giving you. Mm -hmm. Come and promote Rwanda. Mm -hmm. Until then, I'm not moving to Rwanda. Okay. Because I feel like I've made so much impact in this country. That's true. But the people don't see the value. The people in charge don't see the value because I'm an African. They don't believe yeah, that Africans are capable of telling their own stories, man. Things need to change. Yeah, we, we're changing that. We're changing that. And I know they'll see this video. So I'm waiting for the email. <laughs> Please send me an email. Hello at Wadamaya. <laughs> Hello at Wadamaya.africa. Yeah, send the email. I'm going to take it from there. Ch you checked in the hotel? Yeah. All right. So even the hotel that you're staying in, you know that um, the guy's a fan. So, Rwandese people appreciate it, oh, no, no, but they need to do better, that's no, no, what you're no, 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 I'm not saying that you need to do better. The people of this yes. country love me for what I do, mm -hmm. but I'm talking about the government, they have to make it official. But I heard that the president of Rwanda saw your video. All of them, mm -hmm. all of them, everybody in this country has seen that video. The one is sitting in the gutter. That's just one of many, you've done it's, so many. No, we've done a lot to put this country on the map. I've seen people opening businesses, I've seen people living in here permanently, I've seen people traveling in here because of my videos. Where's your bag? I didn't have a bag. We shared one bag, we are one. Okay. So the bag I came with is what we have. Hey, that, that's what marriage does to you, you know? Exactly. Uh, like we used only one bag, and when I was in the car coming, bro, I had to put my leg on my wife's lap and she was cutting my nails <laughs> bro i've never done that in my whole life before can you believe it oh God. Even, even even when she was sitting close to me in Ethiopia, like in the plane she had to fix my earpiece dude those days i have to fix that myself man <laughs> that's the meaning of getting married uh, yeah, it's yeah. marriage is a beautiful thing though oh, okay. and i can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you oh, me too. Oh, oh. hey <laughs> shut it up man <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Grana.